Okay, we're already hitting the home stretch of this um, interview. Uh, but before we go, we want to uh, look at this sense of hopelessness more expansively. Uh, Mr. Edo, I'll start with you. Uh, as we're counting down to 2023, this is um, end of January. January is closing uh, gradually. Um, in a few months, 11 months from now, 2022 will end by the special grace of God. All of us will be alive, you know. Yeah. But then I still see Nigerians expressing hopelessness. You know, um, I, I sit down, you know, in some places and I listen to Nigerians and um, all they say is that we don't even know um, who will become the next Kinikon, who will become the next this and that. And um, I mean, what do, what do Nigerians have to do, you know, to really get involved and to really be a determining factor in who rules them next? Not only as uh, president, not only as state governor, but chairman, local government, council of local government. Well, um, thank you. Uh, there will be no local government elections, at least in Yogo State. Mm. Um, there will be what we call the general election. Um, and the way local government is structured today, believe it, anybody who holds the office is insignificant. Um, is only there, you are only there to add to your CV. I was once, um, and then you begin to wear the appellation Honorable. Oh. Honorable Biodon and Abi. And um, <laughs> all those ones. So that, that's not the question I really want to uh, discuss, whether it's uh, politically correct or not. But for the most significant elections, I think it is wrong for anybody. Yes, we are hopeless. Uh, we seem hopeless. Mm. Seems hopeless because um, it is not really true. Our analysis is done from our need and immediate touch what we can feel immediately the market situation is bad security issues at home is worse so that creates that hopelessness but in real fact in reality to the choice we have to pick the election we are not hopeless and it's a mistake if anybody did not get involved right now to begin to look at who i want to vote for this is the right time to begin to do that listen to all the arguments and use it to formulate your own position and opinion. You can't sit down and say, I don't know who to pick among all of them. Um, electionary will start early. I'm sure by the time we get um, up beyond Easter, uh, which will be March or April, okay. I'm not sure, full blown. Okay. Because I never expect, that's why they are bothered about uh, the issue about um, the Electoral Act to sign or not so that they can get into play. They expect by, by August, political parties to start turning in the names of their candidates. Candidate. And if that is happening, it means political parties will have to do the so-called primaries early. Yeah. So it's going to start early. They have said there will be general election in February 2023, which is less than 13 months uh, to come. You understand? So you should begin to have an idea of the kind of person. For instance, I sit there, I say to people, <coughs> we have a dozen or more names prop up from the Southwest, Yoruba, who wants to be president. And I say to myself, all of them, there's none who become the president of Nigeria that will not do better than what we have. I'm sure of that. I can see that. That's the position I've seen. And I'm just, that's why I talk about think that those who watch things for us, yeah. dust it, clean it, and present it to us with their facts. And then we now just choose. Out of Simia, Dele, Kola uh, Kemi, and Biodo, then we now know who to take among the people. So I already formulated, I already look at all of them. None of them, out of the dozen of the names being taunted from the Southwest, that will not do better than the situation we have today. That's the starting point. And I begin to streamline it. Streamline it. What about the, what about, I, I, have, um, I, have, I have a challenge with um, leadership that comes from the presidency um, down to the, um, uh, to the state level. And that is the leadership that's provided by the National Assembly. We know that um, there could be a very a big stumbling block for whoever is Mr. President. I mean, that, and that's the point you're trying. You are try, you, the point you have actually pay, um, uh, made is that uh, from, from the field, the names that we have, you know, those from this side of the country, they are going to do a good job. But are you also, you know, factoring in the, the National, National Assembly? Assembly? You have to look at the population, the characters that are in the National Assembly. Uh, again, that's very interesting. You see, the way the National Assembly is built in terms of those who goes in there, mm -hmm. that's why I say even in the North or here, and that's why the North have been very, very, very better 
than us. People, we don't understand a lot of things. We just sit down in our cocoon and begin to think we are more sophisticated than any other person. There's nobody, for instance, in the Southwest, who spent four consecutive years. By the time you are going on your second three, what do you mean? Show me the money. Up there, we have people who've been in the National Assembly since 1999. They've moved from House of Representatives to Senate. They've stayed in there, and they've built that experience. they build that politique, because when you get into the National Assembly, you are beginning to learn how to swim in the Atlantic, in the ocean, not in the River Ogun, or River you or any other river that you are used to. So you need that tactics, you need that tactics, which they've done very well. So talking there. about you know, what they've done very well, is it that um, one would look at it from what transpires you know, at the National Assembly level or uh, the end result of how their people are better governed in the state? Well, uh, if you look at the end result of government, again, there is a history. Um, in Nigeria, that's why I said it's a peculiar place. That's why I don't like us copying from Anybody. the best of the democracy and say we face in Nigeria. Here, with due respect to the paramount rulers, the paramount rulers know they are bound with you. So I say again. In the north, they can still do it. I'm going away with it. So you can never tell. <laughs> well, it will be hard for people. Yeah, un un unless you have. Walk over like exactly. It's, it's, it's not going to be as easy as, easy as, as it will people. be done here oh, okay. than there. <laughs> Look at the question of the one we call child marriage or early marriage. Hmm. It's a culture. It's, a, it's not a that determines whether you are right as a hmm. woman there. So those differences, we must know it. You understand? I laugh at us. What in their government across the 19 northern states? OK, maybe let me remove two that I don't usually consider as yeah. northern states. Kogi, Kwara. Every other northern state, in terms of agriculture, oof, they're doing excellently well for their farmers, yeah. directly. They may not care about road. They may not care about education. Telecoms. Yeah, you understand? Care about telecoms. Their people are not even bothered about it. <laughs> They're not bothered That's about education. That we should look at each geographical you understand? and find out what so, yeah. to them. Those peculiarity are there. Don't okay. let us lump it we, together. We, at this stage, start to raise the bar for who becomes the president, who becomes the governor of each state, or probably... Before we raise it, where, what the bar? In what sense? In what definition is the bar? If they, for example, we're talking about who becomes the president, and we're still talking about school certificate, school leaving certificate. Um, you know, and then who and gave then us this idea also, of certificate? Is you, also, you also mm. have. We are too certified uh, to. Uh, even uh, uh, in fact, it's, it's getting negative for us. That's why you find people. That's why you find people buying certificates now. Exactly. That's why you find people almost, not everybody, majority of even the young girls who are in school. Just go there for the certificate, not for ah, the education, we have this not for the knowledge, mm. not for the wisdom. Mm. Mm. But, but sh then, sh sh because we have not changed the constitution, because this is still what we operate with, what do we do? Funny enough, most of this certificate we talk about are not constitutional. For instance, at the time we're fighting that the basic um, basic certification for was it president or speaker was school certificate. I even felt is too little, is too much. No, at the time it was um, the primary school. Uh, you understand? And people felt it was too little that we should raise the bar. Maybe they should become PhD holders. But the truth is, we have been here, we have been there. <laughs> Do you understand? It, it's not so much, even the people that gave us certificates, even the people that taught us certification, they are beginning to, that's why we have interview. We have a lot of other things. It's not just drop your certificate and you are employed. It means that people want to know that beyond this certification, what can you offer? What do you have? And like he said, what is your antecedent that can even tell us you have what it takes to take us to where we want to get to? If you like, that's why until we get it to the point of knowing that certification, it yes, it's good. It's your certification. It's your certification. <laughs> it does not prove your competency. It's just proof that you are, you can read to remember. That's what certificate and is. And do exam. 
That is because you remember that's yeah. why you can write. Uh, it. Honestly, we, we, we are missing, and you say a lot of them are not because they want to have this application of PhD, yeah. MSC, MMY. That's why you need to run to Even a PhD person never comes to interview. How does? Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's why PhD holder will say he's happy to be where he's looking, joining others to look for a job as a driver. Honestly, it, 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 it's, it's, it's simple. We want to have a PhD as our president. And to quote Femi Falifakade, that era was an era of a ship leading an army of lions. To quote them, it was a clueless administration led by a PhD compared to the one led by the so-called school certificate mm. at that time in President Olusha Gopas yeah. job. You understand? So, so I don't think it's a matter that. But about 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 along the line, Abbas Jo went to school. Acquired, but at the time he became he our president. At the time, yeah, today is a PhD. At the time, he acquired, acquired our president. Uh, 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 <laughs> become our president. So That's for what me, I'm it, it, it should be a balance between certification and competence. Oh, it should be a balance between certification and character. If you are competent, you will be certificated. I think we are taking it to, we have taken this to uh, another level completely because even in, in the academia in our schools um, are we teaching the right qualities of leadership uh, in the schools because um, it's all about um, certification I, I mean as we have said our, our teachers yes, don't uh, represent mm, you are they good models well I, 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 don't <laughs> think, I don't think we can actually go further um, because uh, we, our next guest is in the house and uh, it's something quite jammy we'll be talking about COVID-19 tests uh, vaccination in our schools in the state and so uh, we'll have to allow um, our guest to go, uh, Mrs. Uh, Farakemi Otulano. Thank you so much for your brilliant contributions on the program uh, this morning. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Adelaide, as usual, you need a Thank you so much for your contributions, too. It's always right. Thank you so much. Okay. When we return, we'll be talking about, as I said, uh, there's something the state government wants to do, and that's, um, uh, what's it called? The, the storming the schools, storming operations, campus storm to vaccinate 400,000 students against COVID-19. Uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Health in the state is coming on board shortly. Stay with us.